healing potion. For some reason, Crazy Assassin's going around the side. Two more, three more Ancients of War going up in Smurfette's base. He does have his Demon Hunter, who's at the moon, I'm sorry, the Fountain of Health in the center, who is gaining some health. Again, another one of Smurfette's troops or heroes has a teleport scroll, so this could get ugly real quick, especially if they press his base. And sure enough, here comes Crazy Assassin again. He's going to go ahead and run in for the deck. He's got three triads with him, a Ballista, and both of his heroes. Unfortunately, both his heroes are still level one. They're not going to focus on the uh, uh, building Ancient of War. Again, we're seeing a variation of that uh, Crazy Assassin Night Elf push. Uh, we're using the uh, the Ballista and the Dryads. Here comes the Keep of the Grove. Unfortunately, the Keep of the Grove running right into it is entangled. He gets off in a tangle of his own, although it's not going to make much difference. He is going to die, and die he does. Uh, meanwhile... Ooh, a burn goes off from uh, Swerfet's uh, Demon Hunter to his to the Crazy Assassin's Keep of the Grove. This is going to force him out. Again, for whatever reason, Crazy Assassin is withdrawing. No, he's not. He's just moving down the ramp, reconsolidating his forces, and back he comes. I was going to say, there's no reason for him to withdraw at this point. He does have a pair of Ballista. Uh, two more Ancients of War have constructed four Smurfettes, so now it's uh, four Ancients of War. The problem is, is, even with the upgrade, they don't move fast enough. Or he gets another burn off the Keep of the Grove, which is going to deprive him of any kind of entangle. Uh, they get a couple swipes in at Crazy Assassin's uh, Demon Hunters. He now moves down. Again, Smurfette better be careful because his own Demon Hunter is taking some shots. He gets off one last burn to the Keep of the Grove, which is now basically useless. So he moves his, keep, his uh, level 2 Demon Hunter back to base, so he brings up his Keep of the Grove, which does have that potion of healing. All right, so he sends one of his trees over to start chugging trees. And weird as that may seem, that is not the case. Uh, he dies, unfortunately. Uh, Crazy Assassin getting a, little, uh, getting a little gutsy with his Demon Hunter and his Dryads, and now focusing their attention on a couple of uh, archers that have deployed from those two remaining grounded um, and this is just nuts, Ancients of War. There's just a slugfest going back and left and right. Uh, okay, uh, Smurfette's Demon Hunter is now taking some shots. Down to, 100, uh, down to 50 health, 30, 20, 10, it's dead. All right, so now all he has is Keeper of the Grove. He was able to entangle and destroy one of the Ballista. Crazy Sassy moving down the ramp again, focusing his attention onto those uh, archers. Meanwhile, trying to close the gap of those Ancients of War again. They are strong melee, but if they're not close, they can't hit you, obviously, since that's what melee means. Again, they're focusing their attention on a Crazy Assassin's Ballista. He does have, well, he has a Hunter's that was coming up, although it stopped. Again, down goes in a heap, uh, goes Smurfette's uh, Keeper of the Grove. I mean, it just crumpled. He has two more Ancients of War constructing his base. They're going to destroy one. No, Smurf uh, prematurely destroys both. He detonates to take away some mana, so... Unfortunately, Crazy Assassin does have 100 health, or I'm sorry, 100 mana on his Keep of the Crow, so he does have that Entangle ability. They're now going over to destroy Smurfette's uh, Wisp Mining or Wisp Chopping Wood, whatever. All right, he's maneuvering again his own Demon Hunter. Crazy Assassin's in trouble. He's down to 70 health on his Demon Hunter, and uh, maybe 80 health. Again, he's going to try and get a couple swipes from the trees. Again, uh, Smurfette's trees are moving in for the kill. They're uh, attacking his gold mine specifically. The difference is that Crazy Sa I'm sorry, Smurfette at the very bottom of the map has a fully running expansion. So he can afford to take these losses right now, which is good because he's lost a fortune in trees. All right, the trees now getting a couple swipes in at uh, the different uh, uh, troops as they run by. He's able, they're able to kill one of the dryads. Again, here comes the level two demon hunter. He is going to, he gets off a burn to the keep of the grove. The keep of the grove is going to withdraw. Crazy assassin's done his damage, or at least so he thinks, and he is on the move. Uh, his demon hunter makes a back to base ahead of them, gets a quick heal. He's got a, he's got one more ballista going again. He's got an ancient of lore, ancient of war. He's got only two hundred dollars in the bank. Um, at least I believe that to be the case. Yes, yeah, so about that. So this is nuts. All right, ancients of wind now going up in Smurfette's base. He here comes his keep of the grove has been deployed. Again, here comes Crazy Assassin. He has been reinforced by a Ballista, and that's all he really needs as far as he is concerned to try and keep his opponent off the pace. Meanwhile, he's, uh, he's starting to circle the wagon. Smurfette has three Ancients of War, within, uh, four Ancients of War, with the nature, uh, Natural Blessing, Nature's Blessing, whatever. I'm um, sorry, I think of the Magic card. And he rallies them around the front, so he's got a battle line forming. He does have three Ancients of Wind coming up, a level two Dreadlord, I'm sorry, Demon Hunter with a level one uh, Keep of the Grove. His opponent has a level two Keep of the Grove. Let's see, where is this Demon Hunter? Uh, it's right there next to him, level 2 Demon Hunter. So now he's in the move. He's coming around the south part of it towards natural expansion. Uh, meanwhile, Smurfette is sending another Wisp up the left side of the map with four other Wisps. Well, it could be that he's going to try for another expansion. Here comes both of Smurfette's uh, heroes. Unfortunately, they run right into Crazy Assassin. They get a few shots off at his Demon Hunter. They're going to have to withdraw. No, the Demon Hunter's going to stay. All right, that was stupid on Smurfette's part. I don't know what the hell he was thinking. That was, a, that was Trojan Condom's boner of the week play. Why would you stand and go toe to toe with an opponent when he's obviously got you know you outgunned? You've got two heroes versus all those units, so he's quickly entangled and loses his demon hunter. Um, he is able to entangle Crazy Assassin's demon hunter, although he runs right into a thicket of trees, which are moving. Hey, that's not natural. Trees are not supposed to move and swing. 
Unless you see, unless you live in Middle Earth. Anyway, so again, the Demon Hunter has now been uh, entangled again. He's crazy. He's able to get him back with a dispel from his uh, dryads. He's now pull, pumping out a couple of druids of the tail, which is going to get a couple shots off. Two ballista do some damage to uh, the front two ancients of wars that come down the ramp. All three of them is, of these guys are pumping out. Uh, all three of the ancients of wind are pumping out uh, druids of the tail. Obviously, looking for those uh, cyclone attacks that will keep them busy. And sure enough, on the left side of the map, Sprofet is making a second expansion. So, hey, the guy knows how to resource manage. Give him that. You know, half this game is, is economics. In fact, any any strategies, including Napoleon. Napoleon was famous for saying it. says, war is won or lost with logistics. All right, very quickly, again, Crazy Assassin pushing his luck. He's attacking the base again. Ballista firing up the ramp, focusing on those Ancient of War as, as the only real protection that uh, Smurfette has. Smurfette loses Keep of the Grove again. This time, uh, this time he may lose his Demon Hunter in the process because his Druids of the Talon, uh, enemy Druids of the Talon are focusing. He's down to 50 health. All right, one of the Keep of the uh, Ancient of War is destroyed. A second one taking serious damage. It's gone critical. Uh, he's got two more, one showing about half damage. Sure enough, they destroy another one. They're trying to do their, uh, trying to focus on Crazy Assassin's heroes. He's withdrawing and scampering down past his ballista. Again, here comes Smurfit's uh, Demon Hunter, wreaking a holy terror. Unfortunately, he's getting a little ahead of himself. And sure enough, he is now getting focused by both the ballista and the, and the hunters and the dryads. Uh, he does not, uh, Crazy does not have enough mana for an entangle, so he is going to have to withdraw. Uh, he's backing up again, leading him down. He's going a little further, shooting, going a little further, shooting. And uh, pff, not surprisingly, Smurfette has some outgunned in resources as well, and he, continue, and he continues to make it Druids of the Talon. For whatever reason, um, I know a reason I'm not going to go ahead and speculate, though. Uh, Smurfette has deployed three Wisps to the Goblin Laboratory in the upper left-hand corner. This is just outside of Crazy's base. Crazy Assassin now reinforcing with his Demon Hunter, having gotten a quick heal. Um, again, this could get ugly. Here comes Crazy again. A couple shots. Another Ancient Warrior has finished eating. Is coming down in defense. Again, Crazy Assassin is going to try and get it before the, uh, these buildings come back up. All right, so they're able to kill off one of the uh, Hunters very quickly. Level 3 Demon Hunter from Smurfette. Here come the Cyclone. The upgrade has just popped in. So there goes the Demon Hunter straight into the air. We can assume that he's going to stay the battle. He's going to stay the rest of the battle in the air. All right, the Keep of the Grove is the next one to go tossed. Um, more focus fire coming in from the Druids of the Town behind as the Ancient of War goes down, absorbing the shots from the Ballista. One hundred is one Dryad showing serious damage. They're now trying to surround the Keep of the Grove. They've entailed him and killed him despite the dispel, so Crazy loses his, his uh, Keep of the Grove. Unfortunately, his Demon Hunter, Smurfette's Demon Hunter, is in the front and taking some damage down to 250. Uh, looks like Crazy is now in... All right, there goes the Cyclone and the Demon Hunter again right into the air as more Druid Talents continue to pop away, pop out of those Ancients of Wind. Again, uh, Smurfette better be real careful with this Demon Hunter. He's down to 200 health, down to 170, and he is getting the ire of those of those of uh, that one remaining Dryad as well as those Hunters. Down to 30 health, and he dies again. Crazy Assassin lands and smacks from the ass. So down he goes. All right, Smurfette moving his Keep of the Grove into the back. He's got four or five Druids of the Talent with him, but he's trying to get near to the Moonwell. One of his trees is starting to chug. Uh, it has it had its fill, and it's now back on the move. Here comes the second one from the south as more Druid of the Town continue to pop out. Again, they come in with 150 mana, which is more than enough to toss people. So they, again, they, they fire Crazy Assassin's Demon Hunter straight into the air. Here's the thing that's killing them, though. Assassin's uh, Ballista are still in uh, still in action, firing against those trees. Unfortunately, his Demon Hunter goes down in a tumult of fire from those Druids of the Town. And now, for the first time in the last 15 minutes, it's a Smurfette that's on the offensive. And he's chasing down those Ballista to the best of his ability. Crazy, trying to move one Dryad into focus. He's able to entangle one of the Ballista. That should be enough to kill it. Sure enough, it is destroyed. He kills one of the Dryads on the way, and he is on the march. He's got five uh, Druids of the Talent at his back. He's got uh, two trees um, guarding his base. Again, all three Angels of the Wind is pr are producing, as well as the Demon Hunter trying to pop back out as we begin to head towards a Crazy Assassin's base, and Crazy has nothing. His Keep of the Grove is just now deploying. Here it comes. And again, a Night Elf and a... <clears throat> I'm sorry, a Dryad and a Huntress are creating in his barracks, but he's got some problems. He's going to lose the last of his Ballista, so now his def offensive capabilities are destroyed. His defensive capabilities, such as they are, are, are basically ride within the Keep of the Grove, and that is it. Meanwhile, checking back at base, Murphette continues to mass his troops. He's got three Druids of Talent on the ground, three more producing. Uh, what? This just come... What? Are you serious? Okay, um, this coming in from our newsroom, apparently, this is breaking news, uh, this is not a joke, folks, chemical weapons have been found in Iraq in the southern city of Kabdula, is that right, Kabdula, or whatever, apparently the uh, initial test showed that this is sarin gas, 55 uh, 10-gallon drums of this stuff, enough to burn away uh, the skin of 100,000 people of a city, so this is just off the wire, um, where'd you get this from?